Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new series of tutorials for you. In this series of tutorials, I am telling you about curve fitting. Well, this is my first video in the series and today I will tell you about the basics of curve fitting. In my next video, I will tell you how to find out a linear straight line for a given set of data. And in the next video of that, you will learn how to fit a curve of a quadratic equation. And next to that, you will learn how to do curve fitting directly on Casio FX and on an ES scientific calculator. And thereafter, I will tell you about how to do curve fitting by least square method. So there are lots of videos to come. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. So let's start today's videos. In many fields of applied mathematics and engineering, we face some problems and do some experiments involving two variables. For example, say the relation between the speed of the vehicle and the fuel consumption is given by the formula f equals to a plus b s square where f denotes the fuel consumption, s is the speed of the vehicle and a and b are the constants to be determined. So how can I do that? We can take several set of observation values for fuel consumption f and speed s. So the general problem is to find out the best values of a and b using the observed values of f and s. For example, f equals to 2.8 plus 0.2 into s square where a is 2.8 and b is equals to 0.2 and f and s are the variables where s is the independent variable and f is the dependent variable because f is dependent on the s. So what is curve fitting? The definition of curve fitting is that the process of finding the equation of the curve which best fits the given values and is most suitable for predicting the unknown values is known as curve fitting. Let me give you an example so that you can better understand. For example, for a different question, if some observed values of x are given, where x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, and corresponding y values are also given. That means for x equals to 1, the value of y is equal to 2. So similarly, we can take several observations and get our observed value table for x and y and from that we have to find out the a and b so that we can numerically form or numerically represent the whole expression or equation y is equal to ax plus b for the observation of x and y and then we will plot all the x values and corresponding y values as a point each one of x value and corresponding y value represents a point on the graph. And by that, if we have, let's say, uh, taken 20 sets of points or 20 set of observations, then we can plot all of them into a graph. And after plotting them onto the graph, next we will draw a curve or a straight line or a parabola, depending on the case, which will touch or cover most of the points that is our objective in curve fitting so here in this example we have drawn a straight line which is touching or covering most of the points so in curve fitting basically we will draw a curve or a straight line which will fit or touch most of the points so what that line or curve will do that line or curve will do represents our existing values that is observed values and will help us predict the unknown values as given in the definition. That is equation of the curve which best fits the given values or observed values and is most suitable for predicting the unknown values. What is the meaning of unknown values? For example, if you are given this observed data set and you are asked that what will be the value of y for x equals to 7. We have x up to 6 and if we want to find out the value of y for the x equals to 7 then we have to take help of any equation in which we will put the value of x and we will get 
the value of y. That equation we have to find out. And the process of finding that equation of the curve is called the curve fitting. That is the literal meaning of curve fitting. I hope I was able to make you understand the concept of curve fitting. Now let's move to the uh, methods of curve fitting. There are many methods of curve fitting and for example number one is the graphical method which is I have given you the hints of in graphical method we draw a graph and from that we visually see or visually predict the respective values of y for given value of x. Next method is the method of group averages and third method is method of moments and the fourth method is method of disk squares. So in this series of tutorials I will tell you how to do curve fitting by method of group averages and method of least squares. Now one more thing to understand that if you are not doing the curve fitting by graphical method, if you are doing curve fitting by any of the numerical methods, that is the rest of the three methods, in that case, if you are not drawing the graph, you can't visually see that whether our curve or line is fitting how many points. In that case, we need a mathematical value or mathematical representation which will tell us that how best or how well our curve fits the points. So that value is called the correlation coefficient or represented as R. The correlation coefficient value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. So if the correlation coefficient value is minus 1 to 0, then our curve or straight line will be downward. And if the correlation coefficient value is from 0 to plus 1, then our straight line will be upward like this one. And our correlation coefficient value also tells us that if the value is close to minus 1 in case of a negative slope curve, then the correlation is very good. That means uh, the line is touching or fitting maximum number of points. So the value if close to minus 1 in case of a negative slope is a very good correlation. For example, it's if it is minus 9 point sorry 0 0.92 then it's a very good negative correlation and if the value is close to plus 1 in case of a 0 to 1 correlation that is positive slope or upward slope then the correlation is also good for example for example 0 0.95 then it's also a very good positive correlation so we'll learn more about the correlation coefficient r when i will tell you how to do curve fitting on cassie effect on es scientific calculator so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below I will upload more videos in the series, so don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel so that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this. So if you would appreciate my effort, so please like and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.